What round should you draft Tom Brady in this year? You know, with the four-game suspension, you have to pick up another quarterback, and it's best bet to pick up a quarterback that has a fairly easy schedule. I say the best pairing is Tony Romo and Tom Brady, because let's face it, Tony Romo, we have some health problems there, but we do think, we do know he's going to get the first four games going. They have a very light schedule the first four games, so you can easily hold on to Romo, use him in Brady's bye week when you need to again, but then you have Brady the rest of the season, and he's going to make monster points and do great things. Fantasy has become like such a phenomenon, especially with like women. Women are loving getting into this now. Advice for first-time players who are women. The most important thing you can do is, is pick your one resource and read and or listen to a network like Sirius XM Fantasy Sports Radio, the company I work for and the, the station I do shows for, they're 24 hours fantasy sports, you know? I tell my girlfriends who are playing their first time to look at it like you're packing for a trip and this would be your season. And you need to have a very versatile quarterback, so that would be your very versatile pair of shoes, your shoes that will go with everything. And I break everything down as to packing this suitcase, and they totally get it from that point forward. And yeah, you can have a couple swaps, you can have a handcuff to your running back, because he might go down. That means you might spill on your shirt, and you need another one that's similar for the same team, you know? So I break it down like that, it makes it really fun. That's a great analogy. I, I, I don't want to call it made a mistake, but I invited my girlfriend to join a league last year. And she was better than you. She was not better than me, but she drafted based on how hot she thought players were. Okay. Good or bad idea? Bad idea. Okay. Nothing is about the player itself. It's about his skill set. It's about the system that he's in. Is it a new team for him? Has he had to adjust to some change in, in, in what, he's, what position he's playing? I mean, there's so many changes. I mean, you could be the same team for 10 years. You get a new offensive coordinator, and your life has just changed. So you got to do a little bit more homework than that. But, I mean, that would be hard because there's so many hot guys in the NFL.